So how hard is A+, plus, Net+, plus, Security+, plus, CCNA, or any other tech certifications? That's a question that I've gotten over the years and I get all the time. And it's really subjective, right? I'm gonna tell you this, whether it's a beginner certification, an intermediate certification, or an expert level certification, there is no such thing as an easy certification. A plus, easy. Uh, the Google Help Desk certification, easy, supposedly. But a lot of people fail these certifications. A lot of people never pass these certifications because they're not easy. If they were easy, a lot more people would be certified. A lot more people would have the opportunity to get a lot of these tech jobs. So bad news is they're not easy. Good news is it's possible. Good news is you can actually pass these certifications. Now, uh, let's say that you um, go with the guidance that most people go with, which is, okay, I'm gonna start with A+. Cool, great starting point. But please understand, especially if you're doing it by yourself, it's probably gonna take you anywhere from 60 to 180 days to pass the A+. Now you may be saying, Rob, why would it take that long? The reason it's gonna take that long is because there's so much information. And if you uh, aren't a good test taker, that's gonna be a barrier. If you are easily distracted, that's gonna be um, a, a huge barrier. If you can't take in a lot of information and retain it, that's gonna be a huge barrier. Even if you're using chat GPT, even if you have flashcards, even if you think you have a system that works for you, it's possible, but it's gonna be very difficult. And if you're doing it by yourself, it may take you a long time. So let's kind of go through A+, right? So A+, is um, the number one certification that pops up in the most job searches, right? So even if the certification itself doesn't pop up, entry level stuff the skills that are learned in a plus pop up so a plus covers a bunch of stuff man it covers cybersecurity it covers networking it covers ai it covers automation it covers did i say networking uh coding pretty much all the the foundational um parts of every lane in uh, it and in tech right um now let's bounce to something else what is CCNA? Is that hard? CCNA is super focused on networking, right? So routing, switching, and how to actually set up the network. Um, I would say it's a lot more technical than um, A+. Um, so if you know or think that you really, really, really want to do this networking thing, I will go after a CCNA uh, or a Network+. Plus. And if you are kind of looking like, okay, I just want to get my foot in the door and then I'll kind of figure out uh, which direction I want to go. Or if even if you think you really want to do network, I would still say maybe start with A plus because once again, you'll get that foundational stuff from um, A plus. And then once again, the reason, right, that um, certifications in general, that's why I'm just bouncing around a bunch of different certifications because just in general, I'm, there is no easy certification, right? So A plus is a two part exam, has hundreds, not of questions, but hundreds of topics on it, right? And you have to be well versed. And I think the A plus is a good place to start just because it's so many different lanes, so many different topics. And then once you go through those topics, you'll just learn, oh, I do like cybersecurity, or I do like networking, or I do like cloud stuff, you know, and you'll actually be able to have a better direction when it comes to uh, what you wanna do, right? So. Um, you know, I just had a student pass uh, Security Plus, right? And when he first met me, he thought that he wanted to be an AI engineer. But as things went along, as, as time went past, he found out, like, I actually want to do cybersecurity, right? And even in cybersecurity, you're still going to have uh, components of AI. And cybersecurity is uh, a huge opportunity just because AI is going to present a bunch of of cybersecurity threats, opportunities, and um, it's gonna have to be people like you to uh, secure these things. So uh, we talked about CCNA, we talked about A+, um, Security+. Plus. Now Security+, Plus, um, there's a fatal flaw that a lot of people are, are doing and what I'm seeing recently. 
Security Plus is going to get you to the bank, right? Security Plus is going to get you to, you know, opportunities that you could possibly uh, make 80, even $90,000 a year in your first opportunity. Now, as you already know, or if you don't know, you have to be great in the interview. You have to have awesome communication skills. You have to have a really strong skill set and be adaptable, right? Is it possible for you to make eighty, ninety thousand dollars in your first job? For sure, um, but it's highly unlikely unless you know a lot of things line up. But the one thing I was wanting to say is that I think I believe, right? I've been in tech for uh, almost twenty years. Um, I got 15,000 students taught and had every almost every job you can think of in tech. And my personal opinion is that Security Plus is not a good place to start uh, because there's not really any, at least I don't think, there's not necessarily any entry level cybersecurity jobs. To me, cybersecurity is an entry level, right? Um, for sure, I have, I've had students where their first job was a cybersecurity job, but even those students, they had the skill sets and the foundational stuff first. Trust me, I know it, it sounds, I'll oh, skip A plus. I don't want to take uh, this certification. or I don't want to learn this. I don't want to learn that. I'm telling you, if you go a little bit slower starting off, it's going to make you go a lot faster in, in the long term. Just because Security Plus is one, it's a super hard exam, right? It's super hard, right? And a lot of times, if people start with Security Plus, there's two roads. You either pass it or you fail it, right? So if you fail it, most times it's going to crush you. You thought, that, oh, I just get the certification. Everything's cool. I'm going to get, you know, a $100,000 a year job. And once you take it and notice like, man, I don't know any of this stuff. I have no idea what this is talking about. It's going to discourage you. And most likely a lot of times when people fail that first certification and they're so like you need, you know, a 700 and something to pass, you end up getting a three sums out, oh, damn, this ain't for me, right? And it, it's not necessarily that it wasn't for you, it's that you just didn't have the foundational stuff, right? You can't um, damn get a, you know, go to a calculus class if you don't know how, don't know how to add and subtract, right? You can't uh, 360 dunk if you don't even know how to do a layup. You can't um, learn how to, uh, I don't know, shoot a bazooka if you've never even shot a slingshot, right? It's just it's just levels to certain things, right? And it's steps to certain things. So you just got to uh, keep that in mind. Uh, so what do we say? The failure path, right? So that's what happens if you fail um, Security Plus. Now, what happens if you pass? Oh, I'm good, right? No, because even if somehow you're a great test taker, somehow God was with you that day, and he, <laughs> he guided your steps and you, you know, chose the right questions or in right answers. And but you actually don't know the material, right? You don't actually understand how to do whatever those scenarios, whatever the question, whatever you don't know how to do that stuff uh, in real life, you're gonna get found out. So a lot of times when people be like, oh, I got A plus, net plus, security plus, or I got security plus, can't find a job, it's because once you get in that interview, right? It's real easy to figure out, oh, this person full of shit. They don't know how to do any of this stuff, right? Because that's one of the things about tech as opposed to other jobs. You're going to get tested, right? Mostly in the interview, right? You're going to get tested in the interview. It's going to ask you to ask you how to do basic stuff. Because it's like, if you don't know how to do basic stuff, then you ain't going to, you know, we're not about to hire you. And, um... Let's say that you pass the interview too, but then you gotta actually do the job. That's another thing I'm trying to save you guys from. It's not about passing the certifications, man. It's about actually knowing how to do the job. I don't know about you, but I'm just not, you know, I'm not a real big fan of looking like a dumbass, right? And it's easy to like a damn dummy. Once you get that job and they ask you to do something plain and simple, secure some switches, just some simple baseline stuff, okay? Okay, we want you to, you know, set up intrusion detection, or we want you to just simple stuff that you supposedly know, right, or should know. It's gonna be rough, and then you know, tech is big, but it's small at the same time. You may end up on a list that says, "Do not hire this guy," right? Do not hire this girl. Do not talk to this person. They're gonna waste your damn time, right? So, certifications, right, are not easy, right? Um, but they can become a lot less difficult 
depending on what you do prior to the actual exam. De depending on what you, and getting a job isn't um, necessarily the hardest thing in the world, right? It's never been easy, right? Even when I first started off, even when I had all these certifications, had all this experience, I still had to put in a ass of uh, applications. I still had to make sure that, you know, I blew people away in the interview. You just gotta be, you know, one of them ones because the competition, right? The competition is really, 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 really high right now, right? Because you're competing with uh, people in the United States, people overseas, AI, automation, so on and so forth. But this is still, right? Because, you know, I got students getting hired all the time. This is still one of the best times to get into tech, right? Because AI, if, if you know, you know, it's creating a lot of opportunities, right? So if you're just doing some basic repetitive stuff, yes, it is taking that job. Those entry-level jobs where you're just doing the same stuff every day, yeah, you're in trouble. But AI is posing so many new uh, opportunities and challenges, right, that people like you can get hired to fix. So I don't take too much of your time, right? But just understand that don't look at at don't look at it as, okay, um, how hard is this certification? How easy is this certification? What do you want to do, right? And sometimes you even need direction with that, which is understandable. That's another thing. That's okay. It's like, okay, I want to get into tech, but where do I start? You can start by getting certifications, start by uh, building up your skill set, start by not making excuses, right? And like I said, one of the biggest things is this. Get the certification, but know how to do the stuff in the certification. I know that may sound simple. I know that may sound like uh, uh, like it ain't rocket science, but that's one of the biggest things is that you have to, you gotta know how to actually do the damn stuff in the certification. You can't just, uh, you can't just have, uh, uh, um, you know, just the piece of paper. You gotta actually have, you know, the stuff that's in the piece of paper, because if not, it's gonna be uh, real interesting when you get into the interview and like I said, you can't really talk to the stuff that was in the certification. It's gonna trust me. It's gonna that's gonna save you a ton of heartache, a ton of time, a ton of wasted energy and money, right? So in the comments below, let me know uh, what certification are you working on right now? Uh, do you agree that you shouldn't start with Security Plus? You need to kind of build a strong foundation and. Um, how have things been going for you? Like, have you been going on interviews? And in the comments, kind of flip it, right? What could you do better, right? Hold yourself accountable. What could you do better? Why do you think people aren't hiring you? Why do you think that you're not getting a call back? Why do you think that the interviews just ain't going the way they need to? Other than that, I'm Rob from ITMasterKey.com, and I help people just like you pass tech certifications and get awesome tech careers. And if you don't know, all active U.S. Army soldiers, whether you're in the reserves, National Guard, train with me absolutely free. Other than that, I'll see you in class.